six on the Green Line expansion. The MBTA just gave it the green light with some conditions. We are talking about a lot of taxpayer money for this project. Let's go right out to David Robichaud. He is live in Boston with the breaking details and what these conditions are. Roby. David, this came down about 20 minutes ago. The MBTA board, uh, they voted to approve this, but with some pretty big stipulations. The biggest stipulation being they need the Federal Transit Administration to take a look at this plan first to give the green light to it so in order for us to move forward. There's going to be several more votes on this thing. But for now, it's good news for all the people who testified for the plan. A packed house, emotional people, many holding signs, a lot at stake. Sounds like a game at Gillette. As a New England Patriots fan, um, there's only a single message, and I know that you're all unpaid, but do your job and free the Green Line extension. Standing room only. For 90 minutes, the public sounded off on a scaled-down version of a plan that's been debated for over a quarter century. It's not dramatic to say people have died waiting for this path and waiting for this train route. The Green Line extension plan was a billion dollars over budget. Now the T says this $2.3 billion version is doable. Some proposed stations will have to eliminate escalators and elevators, and the walking and biking paths around some will have to be shortened. There's a lot of pressure from the people of Somerville, Medford, and Cambridge. Elizabeth from Medford gave a vocabulary lesson. I recently had occasion to look up the definition of the word bupkis, <laughs> which means nothing not a zero zilch which is what we would get if the green line extension is canceled so again this is going to be the first of many votes on the green line extension but listen they have said that they want to give this thing the green light have to check with the feds first the federal transit authority they have to give the word first secretary pollack was here and she made it clear that she's approving of this as well but she said to the t don't take your eye off the prize. The most important thing is the core services that you offer right now on a daily basis. And if you do this, if you're going to mess that up because of this, forget about it. Reporting live from downtown, I'm David Robichaud. David and Paula, back to you. All right, Roby, thank you.